Hi there, friends. Today, I'm with, here with my friend Oliver, and we are going to go on an adventure. Hello, I am Oliver, and I am a wilderness scout. Please help me and my troop escape the jungle by using your knowledge of kindergarten math skills. If we make a mistake, we might find ourselves in danger, so be careful. The volcano is erupting, so we have to leave right now. You will need to find clues along the way to help us escape. I know you can do it. Oh boy, this sounds pretty intense. We better have our good thinking brains on so we can help Oliver and his friends get out of here. Click on the binoculars to get started. Do you see the binoculars? Very good. Which shape has no corners? Hmm. We have A, B, C, and D. Which one does not have any corners? Very good, shape A. This is an oval, and an oval does not have any pointy corners. Terrific job! Click on the lantern to get our next clue. Do you see the lantern? Great work! Which shape has three sides? We have A, B, C, and D. Let's start by counting the number of sides on shape A. One, two, three, four. Hmm, that has too many sides. Let's take a look at shape B. Shape B doesn't have any sides. Let's count shape C. One, two, three, four, five, six. S shape C has six sides. That's still too many. Let's try shape D. One, two, three. <gasps> shape D has three sides. That makes it a triangle. That's magnificent. Good find. Click on the magnifying glass to find our next clue. Do you see a magnifying glass? Good eye. How many corners do all of these shapes have? Let's take a look. These shapes are triangles. Triangles have one, two, three corners. If we count the next one, we can see that it also has one, two, three corners. That means that all of these shapes are going to have three corners. Incredible! Our next clue is in one of our backpacks. Let's see if we can find it. Select the solid shape. Remember, solid means 3D. So, does A, B, C, or D look like it's a solid 3D shape? Very good. Shape D is solid. We can see that it has depth. We can see it going backwards into space, which means it is a solid shape. A, B, and C are flat shapes. Fantastic! Click on one of the ladybugs to get our next clue. Where are the ladybugs? Very good. The blue pentagon is blank, the red pentagon. Is the blue pentagon bigger than the red pentagon? Smaller than the red pentagon? The same size as the red pentagon? Or larger than the red pentagon? Let's take a look. This is our blue pentagon. And this is our red pentagon. The blue pentagon is taking up less space than the red pentagon. Does that make it bigger or smaller? Very good. That makes the blue pentagon smaller than the red pentagon. Nice work. Click on the cave to see if there is a way out. Oh boy, here we go. The scouts want to make a rectangle out of sticks. How many sticks do they need? Our choices are five, two, three, or four. Hmm, let's think about a rectangle. A rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. 
That means that we would have one, two, three, four sides all together. If our rectangle has four sides, how many sticks do we need? That's right, we would need four sticks. You got it! Click on the ladder to explore the cave and find our next clue. Do you see the ladder? Wonderful! The scouts made this shape with matches. What shape is this? Hmm, our choices are hexagon, pentagon, rectangle, or trapezoid. We can count the number of sides to see how many our shape has, and that will tell us what the shape is. I see one, two, three, four, five, six sides on this shape. Which one of these has six sides? The hexagon? the pentagon, the rectangle, or the trapezoid. Very good, the hexagon has six sides, so this shape is a hexagon. Splendid job, we need to camp out overnight. Click on the fire to get our next clue. Do you see the fire? Very good. Oliver made this shape with the rope. What shape is this? Our choices are triangle, rectangle, oval, or square. We're looking at this shape. This shape doesn't look like it has any sides or any corners. A triangle has three sides and three corners, so this can't be a triangle. A rectangle has four sides and four corners. That's more than what this shape has, so we know that it's not a rectangle. A square has four equal sides and four equal corners. This shape doesn't have enough of that, so it's not a square. And our last choice is oval. An oval has zero sides and zero corners, and it looks like a squished in circle. Does that match the shape that we're seeing? Yes, it does. That means that this shape is an oval. That was amazing! Click on the bridge to cross and find our next clue. Where is the bridge? Very good! Timothy has three sticks. What shape could he make? Could he make a square, a rectangle, a triangle, or a circle? Hmm, with three sticks, would we be able to make a square? No, we couldn't make a square. For a square, we would need four sticks, and Timothy only has three. How about a rectangle? Could he make a rectangle with three sticks? No, we couldn't make a rectangle either. A rectangle also has four sides, and with only three sticks, we wouldn't have enough. How about a circle? Could Timothy make a circle with three sticks? No, we couldn't make a circle either. A circle doesn't have any sides. How about a triangle? Could Timothy make a triangle with three sticks? Yes, he could. Very good. A triangle has three sides. So with each stick being one side, Timothy could absolutely make a triangle. You're doing great. We made it through the cave. Whew! Click on the sleeping bag to get our next clue. Do you see a sleeping bag? Great job! Ginger the giraffe is combining the two squares below to make a new shape. What shape did Ginger make? Well, let's see. We had a blue square and an orange square. We put them next to each other, so our new shape has one, two, three, four sides. It looks like two of our sides are long and two of them are short. Which shape matches that description? A rectangle, a cube, a square, or a triangle. That's right, the rectangle. We put two squares together and we made a rectangle. You've been a big help. We're almost there, thank goodness. Click on the camera to get our final clue. Do you see a camera? 
Very good! How many triangles make this hexagon? We have some orange triangles, and when we put them all together, we can make a hexagon. Let's count to see how many triangles are in the hexagon all together. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. We can use six triangles to make a hexagon. We did it! We escaped the jungle safely! Congratulations! You have mastered your kindergarten math review. Thanks for all of your help. We couldn't have done it without you. Fantastic work today, friends. Thank you for all your help. You managed to get Oliver and his friends away from that scary volcano, and you did it using your amazing math skills. Thanks so much. You have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now!